let's learn about something new in this video we're going to talk about relations what is a relation well in english it's a very general term and it means a lot of things but because we're in the math world we'll be very serious about it let's talk about it using some examples let me present you some sets here's set a and here's set b now i'm going to write down the elements of these two sets set a has a horse a cockroach a unicorn an eagle a frog a zebra a dragon a butterfly a bird and a fish okay so these are some creatures that you can see that they are part of set a what we have inside b is a land water air and mind we have four elements land water air and mind because why not and now let's relate set a to set b we can do this by saying that the horse lives on land zebra also lives on land frog lives on land and water fishes are in water butterfly air uh, another bird air another bird air cockroaches also land a unicorn and dragon okay they don't live anywhere because they're not real so they live in our minds why not okay so what do we have here we have elements from set a connected to elements of set b these are all ordered pairs we can say that this pair has the first element horse and the second element as land and if we combine all of these ordered pairs all the arrows that we have each of them are is a is a ordered pair if we combine all of them and put them in a set that set is called a relation that is a relation between the set a and set b or from set a to b but what if we didn't stop at that what if we didn't stop at just these arrows what if we connected all possible combinations and made all possible ordered pairs what if we had more arrows horse lives in water horse lives in air mind and then bird has land water air and mind and then we kept going we connected all elements of set a to all elements of set set b and if we combine all of that and then put that in a set what would have that set called that set would have called the cartesian product of set a and b that would be a times b because cartesian products have all possible combinations so that means a relation is a subset of a cartesian product that's the simplest definition that i could find a relation is a subset of a cartesian product that's it and these elements well they're related to each other this is what we mean as a relation in the math world now let's talk about a few terms that would come in handy we have a much simpler example with a lot less things going on on the screen okay we have two sets a and b and we have these elements some of the elements of set a are related to some of the elements of set b all of them are not participating and this is where the fun begins let's look at the elements that are participating we have the horse the zebra the frog and the fish these four from set a that are related to some element of set b they're called the domain the domain is the set of all first elements in the relation there are a lot of elements in set a we have the unicorn and the dragon as well but we're not going to take them we're only going to talk about the elements that are in the relation so that's the definition of domain and what about set b we have land and water these two are related air is not related in this example these two will be part of something that we call range so range is the set of all second elements in the relation why first and why second because we're having the relation from set a to set b so elements in set a are called the first elements and elements of set b are called the second elements and the word range sometimes get confused with the another word and i'm going to put that down it's called codomain this one has a very specific definition is a very simple definition codomain is simply the entire set b whatever you have in set b that's part of codomain so codomain is land water and air it doesn't matter if you are related or not if you're part of set b you're part of codomain so let's recap the domain is set of all first elements in the relation so all the things from set a that are related to something in set b they'll be part of domain and all the things that are related in set b they'll be part of range okay there are two more jargons that are thrown in this topic and let's take them up as well this is an ordered pair we have the horse and we have the land sometimes this land is called the image of this element horse we say that land is the image of horse 
don't ask me why and we go the other way around as well the horse is called the pre image of land so we'll have pre images from set a and we'll have images from set b this is how things work all right now this is a very visual way of looking at the relation between set a and set b there are other ways to do the same and you might recall that we've done this in sets as well one of them is called the roster method and the other one is called yes set builder method the roster method is the answer method and set builder method is the question method so let's write this relation down in the roster form we'll need some brackets curly brackets and then we'll have these five elements why five because we have these five ordered pairs 1 2 3 4 and 5 the first one is horse and land second one is zebra and land and then we have frog and land and then frog and water and then fish and water okay this covers up our relation and the way to write this in the set builder method is like this we have r that's the set of all x and y these are ordered pairs such that and after such that you'll have a condition just like we have for other sets we'll have it for relation as well the condition is y is where x lives and you have x belongs from a and y belongs from b and you close the bracket that's how you write it in the set builder method we'll be taking care of numericals in the next few videos i hope by now conceptually things are making sense these are very keywords domain range and codomain a good understanding of all of them will go a very long way